Welcome back, Monster Jam fans and Hot Wheels fans, to another Hot Wheels Monster Trucks review. And today we are looking at Bigfoot 9, the Target exclusive Bigfoot. Found this at Target, obviously. I don't even know why I said that. For bad habit. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I found this yesterday and I was not expecting to find this. I just ran in, go check the trucks real quick. And I saw this, and there's like two or three of them, counting this one. Turns out it's not that rare. <laughs> I still want to find Bigfoot 8, the, you know, the one with the racing stripes. You know which one I'm talking about. The one that's hard to friggin' find, that I'll probably never find, given that it's hard to find everywhere else. Well, I can't believe I actually found this. This was first revealed to us back in... Oh, jeez, when was that? Was it November? On some kid's YouTube channel. Oh, I forgot who it was. I guess they had some kind of partnership with Mattel, and and they sent them this. So they were pretty lucky. Now I'm no longer jealous of them. Because now I have it right here on my channel. So... First thing I wanted to go over was, this is not Bigfoot 9. This body never ran on Bigfoot 9. The real Bigfoot 9 was sold in Brazil in 1998, and this design debuted in 2007, or 2006, somewhere around there. So this is actually Bigfoot 14, which was driven by, oh geez, what was that guy's name? I forgot what his name was, hold on. Okay, so this was driven by Dave Harkey for a while before he retired in 2007, I think it was. He passed away in 2008. That's sad. And then Rodney Tweedy took over this chassis. This is actually the Bigfoot chassis that, that Rodney is driving on the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks live tour. That's Bigfoot 14, and that's what this is. So, this is a little... This is inaccurate, so there's my problem. So... Yeah, and and this also ran as a Medusa Bigfoot. She actually drove Bigfoot for a while, from 2007 to 2008, where she used that. Where she used this body, only it said Medusa right there. So that was pretty cool. Medusa was playing both sides, like Buddy Tompkins and Sky Hartley, because apparently he drove. So he drove Bigfoot for, for a while, and then drove Sting, and then returned in 2013 once, just to drive Nitro Hornet. So, yeah. If only we could get Bigfoot to join Monster Jam, but with the whole Hot Wheels thing going on, that's never going to happen, not in a million years. So, yeah, there you go. This is not Bigfoot 9, this is Bigfoot 14. So there's your little history lesson. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the back of the card. So, you got Bigfoot 9, 14, Mega Rex, Five Alarm, Donkey Kong, Shark Reek, Motosaurus, Police, and Sriracha. And look at the stats. So, the truck type is pickup, strength, tubular chassis, crash attack, long jump crush, and its motivation to clear new heights. So, yeah. Let's take a look at the crush car. I haven't gone over this in a while because I held off on doing reviews for obvious reasons. So, it's just a yellow station wagon. I do kind of like how they brought this back. I like the rubber cars better, but this just takes me back to 2013. My happier days. <laughs> so, here's the truck itself, finally. So we got the black roll cage, the black Hot Wheels tires, and chrome rims, which look really nice. That is beautiful. So, take a close look at this thing. So you got Hot Wheels logo on the back, and Monster Trucks logo, uh, Headman headers, and Firestone, J-A-Z, or, or Jazz, I don't know. You like Jazz? Summit Racing Equipment logo right there. You got the big star on the side. 
the star and the stripes. The, this is kind of a USA design. This is perfect for the 4th of July. So we got the Bigfoot logo on the side. Black window there. On the front, there's nothing to it. Really wish they would have did the grill printing on this like they did with the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live one. That looked awesome. They should do it with all their Bigfoot releases. They need to do a trophy Bigfoot. Then on the hood, it's totally blank. Along with the roof, nothing to it. Bigfoot has never done a roof design. And on the tailgate, you got Bigfoot logo, the star behind it, and the red and white stripes. And the red, white, and blue, baby. America. This thing is just beautiful. That's all I can say. And here's the driver's side. You got the Bigfoot logo, Headman Headers, Hot Wheels, Monster Trucks, Jay-Z, and Summit Racing Equipment. So, it's about... It's about it for Bigfoot. Gotta say, my Bigfoot collection is really growing right now. And it should be, because if I'm gonna be in Bigfoot State, then I need to support him. I've been to the open house every year since 2017. With the intentions of going to this year's open house. And then a week after that, I'll most likely be going to Kansas City. So, I'm gonna be pretty busy in June. So, yeah, let's take a look at my other Bigfoot trucks. Alright, so let's start off with my Pinewood Derby Bigfoot. Made this in 2018. And Hot Wheels in 68. I didn't even know that Bigfoot and Hot Wheels was going to be a thing when I did this. I just did it because it was something I loved. So, yeah. Yeah, this was, I made this in June. And I got it signed. You got Bob Chandler, Darren Schnell, Jim Kramer, and Christian Norman. I showed this to Christian, and he lo he loved it. He kept telling me how awesome it was and how awesome I was. It's a really nice guy. And this thing was better in reverse. Then, got the green light Bigfoot. It's amazing. missing a KC light, but that's alright. Got that at the open house. And then... 143 scale Bigfoot. I was going to do a review of this when I first got it, but I just never got around to it. Then you got the first Hot Wheels release. I actually have two of these. This, this one's actually still a little filthy from the All-Star Challenge I did. I got another one because the chrome was coming off and I felt bad about it. So here's that one. Then the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live one. With the grill printing. They really should have did it with this one. I mean, picture that for a second. So, yeah, that's my whole Bigfoot collection. And I do have a Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Bigfoot shirt. And a Dan Ronte shirt that I got on clearance when I first went there. Okay, so... So, I'll stop talking now. That will conclude this Hot Wheels Monster Trucks review of Bigfoot 14. Even though they say Bigfoot 9, but it's Bigfoot 14. Learn your history, Hot Wheels. Alright. Thank you for watching. This is Joseph Nelson signing off. Okay. Thanks for watching, Joseph. Hope you enjoyed it.